let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies. For decades, the Big Bang Theory has stood as the cornerstone of astrophysics, explaining the birth of our universe in a cosmic explosion. But what if everything we thought we knew about the Big Bang was about to be turned upside down? An independent in the realm of astrophysics, Neil deGrasse Tyson, renowned for his eloquence and wisdom, stands at the forefront of a revelation that will shake the foundations of everything we thought we knew. Are we on the brink of a cosmic revelation that will redefine our understanding of space and time? Will Neil deGrasse Tyson's exploration lead us to the edge of the cosmic abyss, challenging the very essence of our existence? Join us on this journey as we explore how the new images from the JWS debunk the Big Bang Theory with the discovery of 750 new galaxies. 14 billion years ago, and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding, as we will forever. Scientists believe in the Big Bang Theory, which explains how our huge universe began about 14 billion years ago. According to this theory, the universe came to be through a mysterious celestial event. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured some surprising images that challenge what scientists thought they knew about the universe's origins. The images show galaxies that seem too small, too smooth, too old, and too many compared to what the Big Bang theory suggests. This is a big deal because, for a long time, most scientists thought the Big Bang Theory was the absolute truth about how the universe started. But these unexpected galaxies are throwing a curveball into that idea. The problem is, according to the Big Bang Theory, as the universe expands, things should look bigger the farther away they are. However, the observed galaxies don't follow this rule. They're smaller than expected. So, scientists are scratching their heads and rethinking what they know about the beginning of our big universe. In the very beginning of everything, all the stuff that makes up the universe, like matter, energy, and the basic building blocks, was squished into this super tiny and super packed point. This point is called a singular singularity. This idea comes from what we know about how things work in physics, especially the ideas of Albert Einstein. In this super packed point, all the stuff in the universe is crammed together in a really tight way because it's so packed, there's a crazy amount of mass and energy in this tiny space. And because it's so tiny and packed, it gets really hot. In our current understanding of the universe, there was this super hot and super packed point that held a bunch of energy. After this super packed starting point, the universe began its big journey of getting bigger and spreading out. This took a really long time, around 13.7 billion years. The universe we see today is the result of this long process. At the beginning of this journey, there was a super fast expansion of the universe. It's like the universe went through a growth spurt, expanding way faster than anything we can imagine. Cosmic inflation played a huge role in shaping how the universe looks. It smoothed things out, made the distribution of stuff more even, and set the stage for making galaxies, stars, and other big space structures. As the universe kept getting bigger, it didn't expand as fast as it did at first. Even after the super fast start, the universe kept on growing, and we call this ongoing growth the expansion of the universe, or cosmic expansion. Scientists saw this happening by looking at things like the way light from faraway galaxies changes color, which we call redshift, showing that as the universe gets bigger, light waves stretch out and shift towards the red side of the spectrum. When first looking at the pictures of the new galaxies from the JWS telescope, they're just stunning. Seriously, there are hundreds of galaxies all in one picture, and it's pretty powerful stuff. For scientists, it's a whole different story. These images are throwing them for a loop. They're not matching up with what the scientists expected based on their theories. In fact, there are way more galaxies than they thought, and these galaxies are turning out to be quite different. They're not as bumpy, they're smaller than what was imagined, and they're really old. All these unexpected surprises are making the scientists a bit anxious. There's even a paper with the word panic in its title, so it's a big deal. The galaxies are basically giving the scientists a curveball. 
They look nothing like what was supposed to be the norm, and the ages of these galaxies are turning out to be incredibly weird. The cool pictures taken by the JWST show some really old galaxies, and it's surprising. This messes with what scientists thought about how galaxies formed and grew after the Big Bang. According to the usual ideas, there should be a certain number and arrangement of galaxies, but these pictures show way more galaxies than expected. It's like the predictions made by the Big Bang idea might not be quite right. Also, these galaxies look way smoother than they're supposed to be. The Big Bang theory says galaxies should be a bit messy with bumps and changes because of how they were born and changed over time, but these JWS images show galaxies that are super smooth, not as wild and complex as the theory suggests. It's like the galaxies are not following the script written by the Big Bang theory. As the universe stretched out, everything that made up our world was crammed into this super tiny space. It was obvious that regular stuff couldn't survive like that in space, so something had to change. As the universe got bigger and cooler, things started happening. Particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to mix up with light and energy around them. These interactions played a big part in how stuff formed in the universe during the first few minutes after the Big Bang. There was this cool process called nucleosynthesis. It's a fancy word for making lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. The hot temperatures and conditions during this time let protons and neutrons join forces to create these basic building blocks. Hydrogen, the simplest and most common element in the whole universe, got its start mainly during this early period. Even helium, the second most common element, made its debut around the same time. These ingredients played a huge role in getting everything ready for stars, galaxies, and more complicated stuff that showed up later in the universe's history. Mixing these basic elements was a big deal. It marked a turning point from a wild mix of particles and energy in the early universe to a time when matter started taking shape. This laid the groundwork for the wide variety of stuff and the huge celestial structures we now have. Even the Big Bang thinkers expected to see galaxies all messed up from lots of crashes. But the JWST pictures tell a different tale. Instead of crazy and messy galaxies, the images show super smooth disks and well-organized spiral shapes, just like the galaxies we know today. This surprising find challenges the idea that crashes are a common thing in how galaxies grow because it's clear these new galaxies haven't been through the tough times we'd normally expect. Instead of a few cozy galactic mergers, it seems like there's hardly any happening out there, if that's the case, it throws a curveball at the idea of teeny galaxies growing into giants over time. It suggests these galaxies might have been big shots right from the celestial get-go. The whole optical illusion deal, where things look smaller the farther they are due to the universe's expansion turns out, is not really a thing. Astronomers have been keeping a close eye on the universe, creating detailed maps, and they found a cool pattern. Galaxies love to team up forming groups, clusters, and superclusters that create these awesome networks across space. This giant galactic gathering fits right into the Big Bang Theory's predictions. The universe started as this hot and dense party, and as it expanded and cooled down, gravity played cosmic matchmaker, bringing matter together to shape galaxies and the whole shebang. The Big Bang Theory suggests that gravity played a big role in bringing galaxies together, like a galactic get-together. It predicted that galaxies would huddle up in certain areas and form these cool filament structures that connect them, creating a sort of cosmic web pattern in the universe. When we look out into space, we actually see these galaxy clusters and the interconnected web of matter, just like the theory said we would. It's like the universe is following the script written by gravity. The way galaxies clump together, the cosmic web structure, it's all a thumbs up for the Big Bang Theory. The James Webb Telescope found galaxies that are way bigger than expected. These findings challenge what we thought was the norm and make us rethink our cosmic reality, according to the Big Bang enthusiasts. The JWST has been keeping an eye on these galactic collisions. Surprisingly, it's not finding the expected dents and evidence of these celestial accidents. It's like expecting to see scratches on our magical toy cars after all the crashes, but they appear surprisingly smooth and dent-free. The Big Bang Theory isn't just a clever name. It's backed by some pretty convincing proof. 
For starters, there's the red shift of light from faraway galaxies. This shift is like a galactic Doppler effect, showing that the universe is indeed expanding. So it's not just wordplay. There's real cosmic magic happening out there. The idea that galaxies are drifting apart in all directions points to the universe always getting bigger, just like the theory suggests. And it's not just galaxies moving around. Light elements like hydrogen and helium spread throughout space match what the Big Bang theory predicts. When astronomers look at the big picture of where galaxies are, it lines up with what the theory expects. A huge clue backing up the Big Bang is the discovery of something called the cosmic microwave background, kind of like an afterglow from the Big Bang. We spotted this faint radiation in 1965, and it checks out with what the theory says, adding a strong thumbs up to its credibility. The way the cosmic microwave background radiation is spread out and its temperature agrees with what the theory predicts, telling us that the universe once started as a super hot and dense hub before it decided to stretch out. The CMB is like a cosmic time machine, giving us a sneak peek into the early days of the universe right after the Big Bang. Its discovery was a game changer, solidifying the Big Bang theory as the go-to explanation for how the cosmos began. Some ancient galaxies seem to defy the Big Bang's timeline, throwing a curveball at what we thought we knew. It's like saying, hold on, did the Big Bang really happen, or is there more to the story? Scientists expected the JWST to uncover fewer galaxies as it looked deeper into space, hinting at a cosmic dark age. But recent findings are shaking things up. It's like rewinding the universe, expecting a point where nothing existed, but the research says otherwise. Imagine going back just a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. Think about galaxies as big as our own Milky Way. They're everywhere. The people behind a recent study say that when the powerful JWS camera took a peek, it found over 100,000 times more galaxies than the smart theorists expected at redshifts greater than 10. According to the cool scientific reads out there, the Big Bang Theory has about 16 predictions and only one turned out to be right. The Big Bang Theory, our go-to explanation for the universe's beginnings, is facing some serious challenges. It can't account for certain things, like the expected size changes of faraway objects, and that's a bit of a red flag. There are massive structures out there that shouldn't have had enough time to form since the supposed Big Bang. Plus, predictions about how much stuff is in the universe and funky patterns in the cosmic microwave background don't add up the way they should. The James Webb Space Telescope is adding fuel to the fire. Equipped with fancy filters, it's capturing infrared images of distant galaxies, making it easier for astronomers to estimate star ages. Turns out, the ages and abundance of galaxies are throwing a cosmic-sized wrench into the Big Bang theory. Young hot stars shine blue, while older, cooler ones, like our sun, emit yellow or red light. The JWTS's findings are raising questions about the theory's accuracy, suggesting that maybe the universe's story isn't as straightforward as we once thought. Stars, like our sun, come in different sizes. Some, the big ones, burn their fuel slowly and can last for a whopping 10 billion years. The color of these stars isn't just for looks, it helps us figure out how old they are right away. According to the Big Bang Theory, the faraway galaxies the JWST is spying on should show us what the universe looked like around 400 to 500 million years after it all began. Some of these galaxies have stars that seem to be over a billion years old already. That's a bit of a puzzle because, according to the theory, nothing should have existed before the Big Bang itself. There are more twists and turns poking holes in the Big Bang theory. Despite these big contradictions, it's not making headlines in the news or blowing up social media. Everyone's acting like everything's fine even when there might be a big problem. Questioning the Big Bang theory can be tough in the scientific world. Scientists who dare to challenge it are often dismissed or seen as not being on top of their game. A few years back, if researchers had some extra cash, they could fund their own cosmic explorations on the side. They even had a shot at publishing papers that went against the mainstream ideas. However, the system wasn't exactly open-minded. Those rebel papers would get the cold shoulder from the established cosmic club. Things got even messier in 2019. 
The cosmic bigwigs, desperate to keep the Big Bang Theory afloat, started clamping down on dissenting voices. They used censorship to hush up any alternatives that might challenge the status quo. Funding for cosmic research mostly comes from a handful of government sources. These sources are run by committees that are big fans of the Big Bang Theory. It's like trying to change the script when the directors are all diehard fans of the original plot. In an environment like that, those who openly challenge the theory end up struggling to secure funding for their research, which gets in the way of progress, even if it has nothing to do with the Big Bang Theory. At the same time, it means that there will basically be no headway in addressing the flaws that seem to be inherent in the prevailing scientific framework. It has now become exceedingly difficult to publish papers that are critical of the Big Bang Theory in astronomical journals. So even if someone were to write a paper, chances are it would never really see the light of day. This brings us to a bit of a crossroads here. If the Big Bang Theory isn't actually accurate, how could the universe form? Believe it or not, there are actually a few theories that could explain the whole thing. There's the concept of eternal inflation, which introduces the idea that our universe is just a single component within a much larger multiverse, a concept we've all recently become incredibly familiar with. Pop culture often introduces us to cool ideas, but it tends to jazz things up a bit too much. The multiverse is a bunch of bubble universes, each with its own unique rules and quirks. They all hang out together in the grand multiverse space. The big deal here is the eternal inflation theory, where inflation means the universe rapidly blew up after the Big Bang. It's not a one-time thing just at the start. It's an ongoing show in certain multiverse corners. During inflation parties, some multiverse neighborhoods throw crazy expansion bashes. It's so wild that new bubble universes pop into existence. And each of these fresh universes comes with its own rulebook, different laws, constants, and quirks. So basically, it's a gigantic collection of universes, each doing its own thing. To fill in these gaps, Alan came up with the idea of cosmic inflation. Imagine our universe starting from a tiny, special substance that can replicate itself. This inflation theory helps explain why we have so many different universes with their unique features. There's another idea called the steady state theory. It's pretty popular, suggesting that the universe has always been here and will be here forever. Unlike the Big Bang Theory, which says there was a starting point, the Steady State Theory claims the universe has been around forever. A cool part of the Steady State Theory is the concept of continuous creation. It suggests that new stuff is constantly popping up in the universe. As galaxies drift apart, creating gaps, this theory says new matter is made to keep things balanced and keep the universe's density steady. The idea of continuous creation offers an alternative way to understand the universe's expansion without relying on a single Big Bang event. This process is believed to occur consistently across the vast reaches of space, ensuring that the universe's overall structure and characteristics stay relatively constant over time. It's like a careful balancing act for the universe to maintain its order. But there are other explanations, too. One interesting concept is the cyclic universe model, suggesting a repetitive pattern. In this model, each cycle kicks off with a big bang, a colossal explosion marking the birth of a new universe. The cycle then concludes with a big crunch, a dramatic collapse where the universe contracts back into a highly dense and hot state. In this model, the universe has its ups and downs. It starts with a big explosion, creating galaxies and stars during an expanding phase. As things spread out, the universe gets larger but less crowded. Then, gravity steps in, pulling everything back together. That's when the big crunch happens. Everything squeezes into a tiny, super-hot point. The universe bounces back with another big bang, starting the whole show again. This repeat performance might explain why things in the universe seem to have a familiar pattern. This cycle idea could be the key to unlocking the mystery of those unexpected galaxies. Maybe they're not rebels from the past, but players in a brand new cosmic cycle. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.